If you guys need badges or a stacked NBA 2K20 account, make sure you guys go to the description and check out Goat Plugged. He's 100% legit, so go get your account now and let him know I sent you. All right, what is up, YouTube? Fitz here, back at again with another video, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys the best build in NBA 2K20, and holy shit, you guys killed it in last in the uh, last video. You guys really John Wilkes boot that bitch, and uh, you know I'm gonna continue doing what I did in the last video. I'm going to be shouting you guys out with the like button. Whoever comes up with the most funniest or most creative way to smash that like button will be getting a shout out in every single one of my videos so for today's shout out shout out to my man kieran f haynes i mean he was one of the first people to my videos so that also gives him a little bit of advantage but he told everyone to go ahead find your biggest fattest piece of ham and slap the like button with your piece of ham now i mean i was eating a ham sandwich when i read this so i mean we kind of connected Shout out to Kieran F. Haynes uh, for the way to hit the like button. Slap the like button with a piece of ham. Go ahead and do it. If you guys want a chance to do that, just go ahead and comment down something funny to hit the like button with. Also, I am giving away 200,000 VC times two. So that's $100 worth of VC I'm going to be giving away at the end of June. So if you guys want a chance to win that, now is your chance. Subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, and like the video. Let me know what console you play on, and you will be chosen at the end of the month. Also, if you guys didn't know, I have a Fortnite channel. So if you guys aren't subscribed to my Fortnite channel, what are you doing? I literally upload on that like three times a week. I slow down my 2K channel because 2K is kind of dead right now. So I'm uploading like two times a week right now on, on the 2K channel, but we are uploading crazy on the Fortnite channel. So make sure you guys go show some love. It is Fitzer. Description uh, has the channel link in it. Also, you know, I will I post on on my Instagram all the time. Trust me, it is everywhere to be found. It's called Fitzer. Go ahead and check it out. And without further ado, let's get right into the video now that we got all that out of the way. So first things first, we got the first name, the last name. We got the position handed jersey number. Now we are making a guard build today for all my centers out there. If you're still playing center at uh, this time of the year, I pray for you because this game's got to be boring as hell. Uh, so this is a fun build. This is the most fun build in NBA 2K20. This build is something that you could just hop on and have a blast with. So first name, LeBron. You already know why I choose LeBron. I don't feel like getting dislikes today, so I'm not going to tell you why. Last name is whatever you want. Uh, position, we're going to go with a point guard position. You can do shooting guard if that's what you like to do, if that's more your speed. However, I like to do point guard. It all is, you know, preference for that. But point guard for this. Handedness doesn't matter. That's also preference. I'm going to go with that. And jersey number, whatever you want. I'm going to go with 23 because, you know, LeBron James. Uh, continuing on, we have the skill breakdown pie chart. The skill breakdown pie chart is what is, uh, you know, this is what determines your build, what determines your archetype. So, I said we're going to be having the most fun build in NBA 2K20. Now, what's more fun than shooting and dunking on kids? Now, this build is going to allow you to get, you know, all sorts of uh, contact dunk animations. It's also going to allow you to shoot from dummy deep. And you're going to be able to speed boost with your takeover on this. So this is an all-around amazing build. We're going to go ahead next up to the physical profile. The physical profile, we're getting 88 speed, 86 acceleration with this one. If you go over to any of the other ones, uh, you know, this one, 84 speed, 82 XL, 91 vertical. That's also pretty uh, compelling. You know, this one might be the one that we're going to be going with. Uh, 88 speed, though. Uh, compared to 86 excel that one's just super fast so if you guys are trying to be competitive with this build definitely go with this one if you're trying to have some fun with it though and get bouncy with it definitely go with this one so i'm gonna go with this one because we're doing the most fun build in ma 2k20 not the most skilled get that shit out of here so uh finishing we're gonna need our finishing badges that is a very very true statement so close shot we're gonna want to have that up driving dunk look at that 82 driving dunk that will go up as well uh driving layup we're gonna have that 87 we have the three main things now we got 15 finishing Finishing badges with that shooting we got 80 three-point shot which is perfect mid-range shot is also 81 we're gonna need a little bit more than that though uh, just to get we're gonna want to get at least 10 shooting badges so we're gonna go ahead and uh, put that up there so we have 15 finishing 10 shooting next up we have playmaking put your ball handling up to 82 and uh, we're gonna need more playmaking badges than that so we're gonna go ahead and put our pass accuracy up and we're gonna try to get uh we're gonna try to get 15 so 15 playmaking badges right there uh just copy that down 181 attributes remaining we're gonna need our lateral quickness up our perimeter defense up we're gonna want to have our steel up we're also going to want to have 
our uh defensive rebounding up just so we get those badges so we have eight defensive rebounding badges now if you want to go ahead and add this to anything else if you want to get more shooting badges be my guest if you want more defense here it is up to you this is a very customizable build uh but from my uh point of view i'm going to go ahead and add this to the free throw that way we get 16 shooting badges and i'm going to go over to defensive rebounding and add the rest onto offensive rebounding so we get the nine defensive badges so we got 15 finishing 16 shooting 15 playmaking nine defensive rebounding badges this is a very very good overall badge like uh equality you know we got 15 finishing 16 shooting i don't need to keep going through though and uh next up we're gonna keep on going to the body shape now the body shape is up to you i mean it depends on what you're gonna be doing with this build on in terms of what you want to be doing um what you want your guy to look like so burly i wouldn't go burly on this build built wouldn't be a bad idea um or solid even compact it's up to you i'm gonna go built on this build because i feel like i'm gonna catch some bodies with that 91 vertical now with this build i recommend keeping them at 6 3 um you know if you guys want to you can make him taller it doesn't make that much of a difference but i would go ahead and just keep him 6 3 that seems to be the sweet spot for this build so i'm gonna go ahead and keep him 6 3 and we're gonna keep moving on so wait move this weight all the way down we're going to get as much acceleration as we can get also with the physicals if you're a superstar three or if you just go into the gatorade facility and do your weekly challenges to get uh plus five to all your attributes or to all your physicals you will have almost 90 speed you'll have well in the 90s acceleration you'll have 99 vertical you'll be cooking with uh you know your physical so 170 we're gonna put our wingspan down as well if you put your wingspan up uh you're pretty much all negative on everything so we're gonna want to put our wingspan down so we get that 85 ball handling we also get 83 three-point shot which is super exceptional and uh we're gonna get our wingspan there so you guys see here our takeover we have all of the offensive takeovers it is up to you on what you do like i said depending on what you're going to be doing with this build depends on what uh takeover you have if you guys want to break a lot of ankles with this go ahead and grab yourself some playmaking badges if you guys want to go ahead and shoot with this build go ahead and grab your shooting this is up to you all sorts of customizable options for this i'm going to go ahead and slash uh on this build so we're going to make sure we have the slashing uh takeover and we have made an offensive threat now this is a disgrace to similar to uh we are no one we are not like russell westbrook jamal Murray, or kevin johnson i mean we are 10 times better than every single one of them russell westbrook get him off jamal murray we know what he's good at so definitely get him off this we are similar to lebron james michael jordan and kobe bryant with this build simple uh anyways we're going to test the build now I'm going to show you guys the best badges that you guys are going to want to have for the best build in NBA 2K20. All right, so first up, we got finishing. Finishing is a very important thing to have on this build, obviously. So we're going to go ahead and put on, uh, being that we are a point guard, we're going to want to have Giant Slayer on gold. We're not going to need a ton of Hall of Fame badges for this, so don't really worry about that. We're going to want to have Contact Finisher on gold, Relentless Finisher on gold. Fancy Footwork is what we're going to put on Hall of Fame. And then you have two more options for badges. Now, you can go ahead and put on like Silver Slithery uh, Finisher. You can put on Silver Lob City Finisher, whatever you want to do uh, in terms of these last two. Or you could add them to anything here. I'm going to go ahead and put Slithery Finisher on, though, because I feel like that badge is really slept on. And it's pretty good to have at least Silver. So those are the badges for the finishing. Uh, next up, we got Shooting. Shooting's pretty easy. We're going to want to have our Quick Draw maxed out at hall of fame we're gonna to want to have a range extender on hall of fame we'll have our green machine on silver or gold up to you uh we're gonna to want to have our hot zone hunter on gold and then lastly for the last shooting badge we're gonna to want to have dead eye on gold those are gonna be our shooting badges next up we got playmaking playmaking is pretty simple handles for days put that on gold quick first step put that on gold unpluckable gold tight handles gold and our last badge that we're going to be given gold is definitely stop and go my favorite badge in the game this will allow you to shoot on a dime so make sure you guys have that equipped and lastly we got the defense and rebounding badges super super easy badges to uh put on we got clamps obviously on silver we got pick dodger on silver pick pocket on silver that leaves us three left and what we're gonna do with that is put on intimidator on gold and those have been the badges and that has been the build i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you smack the like button down below if you guys enjoyed turn on post notifications also like i said go subscribe to my second channel it is a fortnite channel go show some love on there we're trying to hit 1k as soon as possible and uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you leave a like down below subscribe to the channel if you're new i'm fitzy and i'll see you next time
scandal down the hole. Nobody says a single word. Not anymore, don't do it again Now what you just said